Hello, I'm John Evans, and this is Wednesday, the 27th of July, and this is a special edition of the Small Town Networking. Yeah, and I'm uh, I'm Scott Wilk, and uh, thank you for joining us for our back to school edition of Community News. Uh, as you know, we uh, we had our our episode on Monday, which don't forget to go back. Uh, you can't do it with this program, but go back and watch our last three episodes. Uh, and you can see how to win a hundred dollar gift card uh, for us making a thousand uh, uh, still going on followers. Till yeah, Saturday midnight. Saturday at midnight. So we've had quite a few people uh, s- commenting and sharing and doing what they need to do. So for instructions on all that, go check out one of our old episodes. But we have so much school information uh, that we wanted to. Uh, to, to share that with you and uh, and some stuff that we weren't able to get on our last program. Uh, so uh, we, we've got a bunch of different stuff to share with you. So we had some uh, breaking news stuff too. Yeah, week. and stay tuned to the end. Uh, we actually uh, covered some news that happened right here in, in Rockwood uh, and it actually got featured on WVLT News, our affiliate. So uh, stay tuned to the end of the broadcast for that. But uh, all kinds of school news. Share this with your friends. Share it uh, on your Facebook page because we've got information for all different schools. Uh, if your school isn't featured here, uh, I'll have information at the end how you can share information with us as well. Uh, but starting off, uh, first of all, uh, this is the Roan County calendar. And we, uh, we showed this on Monday's episode. Uh, this is the first semester there. And it shows uh, basically all the holiday days, in-service days, Thanksgiving and Christmas is on there. It's hard to believe that we're talking about that already. And then here is the second semester uh, showing all the holidays as well, uh, teacher in-service days and all that. Uh, Here also is showing all of the grading periods, abbreviated abbreviated days, and the the teacher development days as well. Uh, Here is, uh, this is a special special story that we've got. Uh, we, we receive uh, information from them all the time, but uh, this missed our Monday program, so I wanted to really make sure that we got it on this program today. Uh, but the Intensity Elite Group is looking for 10 and under tryouts. That'll be July 31st, uh, 3 to 5 p.m. You can contact Lay Moore at that number on your screen there. Uh, here's a little picture of the 10 and under Intensity Elite Softball mission statement. Uh, but they're looking for some uh, 10 and under people for tryouts there. So uh, if you're interested in that, just give them a contact. Uh, and if you weren't sure that they're looking for basically people that would be born 2012, 2013, and 2014 uh, if they're experienced players. So uh, so we appreciate them. Sorry that we didn't get them on the, uh, the last episode. But if you're uh, uh, in that age group, hey, Contact Lay Moore at that phone number. And that's this Sunday. Yeah, so this Sunday. Uh, so get on that. Contact them right away. And uh, we always appreciate them watching and sharing uh, all of our information. Here is a cool uh, back to school information for all parents. Uh, this is the Tennessee Health Department, Roan County's Health Department actually, is offering back to school vaccinations. And uh, John will tell you the dates on that one. Yeah, that's uh, Thursday the 28th, 4 to 6, Tuesday, August the 2nd, 4 to 6, and Thursday, August the 4th, and that's 4 to 6 again. And I believe that is just past the Walmart uh, between Rockwood Harriman and up on the hill. Just past Shape Up, right? Uh, or no, before Shape side, Up. Yeah. yeah, this if you're coming from downtown, it's before Shape Up. If you're coming from the interstate, uh, it's, it's after, after shape, yeah. shape Up, yeah, if you're coming from Harriman. Uh, excited, uh, we're not far away from our Rockwood uh, High School School Reporter. And uh, here's an announcement from them. Rockwood High School's Chromebook distribution is tomorrow, July 28th, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Rockwood High School. Uh, they do have an insurance, which if I had a kid, I'd be paying that 20 bucks. Okay, well, Tom's got a Chromebook. <laughs> he treats it pretty rough. They're pretty tough, but... I, I would buy that insurance. Yeah, 20 bucks for the insurance. Uh, the forms must be signed by a parent and they are available at Rockwood High School or you can go to the Roan County School Systems website uh, to see that. Uh, 
And uh, here's Oliver Springs. Oliver Springs High School starts, uh, that's August the 3rd. Yeah, one year. week, less than a, well, it's yeah, just under a week away. Yeah. Uh, also, there's their registration. Yep, Oliver Springs High School registration is the 26th. That was yesterday. Yeah, so uh, you probably missed it. If you, <laughs> so, if you, you know, give them, it's, sometimes it's easier to get forgiveness than yeah. permission on things. And, uh, you give them a call and beg ignorance and say, I didn't see Small Town Network till the Yeah, uh, I just saw it today. Uh, today. They did their school yeah. program a day late. Blame uh, it on us. Yeah. To get your kid in there. Yeah, and they probably have heard of us anyway, so they'll be like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we yeah, understand. You're good. Uh, yeah. Also at Oliver Hot Springs High School, your fall pictures for grade 9 through 11 is Wednesday, August 17th. Man, and it, well, like we said, they're jumping on the teachers <laughs> early this year. Yeah. I don't understand. But, I don't either. You know. Um, uh, Alder Springs Fall Pictures for Seniors are Friday the 29th at 9 a.m. Yeah, and uh, some of these we showed on Monday's program, but just wanted to show again. Ridgeview Elementary Meet the Teacher uh, is Tuesday, August 2nd, 5.30 to 6.30. Uh, they have all kinds of back-to-school things, inflatables and all that. Uh, so go check that out. 6.30 to 8 p.m. There are refreshments going to be available for purchase there. And uh, Roan yeah. County High School. Yeah, they got a sneak peek at the band practice, and that's on the field on the 29th. That's Friday at 11 a.m. And parents, uh, please stand on the sidewalk outside of the fence. Yeah, kind of cool, though. You get yeah. a little sneak peek. Uh, here is uh, the school supply. This was their preliminary school supply list that they shared. There's it a little bigger, uh, and you can screenshot that. And again, we have all this available. And if you want a PDF copy like John was saying on our last episode, uh, just email us and we'd be glad to get you a PDF copy of that. Uh, don't forget about parking passes. Yeah, Rowan County High School's parking passes for the 2022 and 2020 2020 <laughs> uh, school year. That's for seniors. You got to do that yesterday. For juniors, you do that today. For yep. sophomores, you do it tomorrow, and the passes are sold from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Yeah, this is in case you don't didn't realize you missed something. Yeah. <laughs> you missed something. Uh, but then there again, uh, you must bring in your parking flat pass application, a valid driver's license, car registration, proof of insurance, and that $20 fee. And don't forget, uh, we've got that form if you need that as well. Yeah. And uh, here's one. Midtown Elementary School. They got a new website, mtes.roanschools.com. They got the teacher web pages, the lesson plans, the announcements, lunch menu, and more. And I know that's really cool uh, when uh, Tiffany used to do that over here at, at Ridgeview. Uh, she posted her lesson plans, and, and parents that are really concerned about the kids can go out and see what they're supposed to be doing. Because there's one thing that what the kid comes home and says, what is he supposed to be doing and studying? Yeah. It's another to look at the lesson plan and know. <laughs> exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So uh, so check that out, that new website out. Uh, and they said they'll be doing some, you know, making some changes on that, updating it as they go. But uh, great timing uh, to get that website up. Uh, also on the Midtown Elementary School, they announced that they have a back to school worship, worship, <laughs> worship service at South Harriman Baptist Church, Sunday, July 31st, 11 a.m. Uh, and every student present will receive a backpack full of school supplies. That's so, really cool. Yeah, very cool. Uh, thanks to everybody who shared that information with us. Uh, gonna browse through some of these uh, school lists that we shared on Monday's program. Uh, so if, if you uh, need to, I'm gonna blast through these because uh, there's a lot of them, they're done by grade, but uh, don't forget, uh, it, it, you might have missed the new registration for Oakdale School yesterday. Yeah. Uh, but here again, here is the school supply list by grade. This is kindergarten, and just screenshot it when you see your grade come up. But there's first grade, uh, there's second grade, the black and white version of third grade, and fourth grade. And there's the fifth grade, and then it jumps into the middle school supply list for Oakdale Middle. And there is the high school basic list, and obviously as you get to your meet your teacher, you'll have those get updated. Uh, as we talked before, it's that time of year where all of the different athletic teams are gathering funds for their upcoming season. Uh, so you can get your midway uh advertisements now and the great thing is that's displayed for all games played by the midway high school and the midway middle and the midway youth so you kind of get a three for one there yep uh but uh and again i've got those forms available 
uh, just contact Justin O'Toole or you can contact us, email us, and I can send you a PDF copy of that. Uh, but here we go, bunch Rock of Rockwood Rams. Rockwood. You're an old Rockwood Ram. Oh, I'm an old Rockwood Ram from a long, long way back. <laughs> back when we were, you know, our colors were red and white at the time. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't and, know that. Uh, yeah, it's a long, long time ago. But their practice has now started. Uh, they started on 7-18, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can still sign up till the second week of August, so you yeah. have plenty of time. And uh, for I those you, procrastinators, yeah, yeah, but uh, get on the team if you want to be there. Yeah, check that out. Uh, also, from the Rockwood Rams, they sent us the entire football and cheerleading schedule. So, if you've got a football player or a cheerleader or you're a booster or anything like that, there's the upcoming uh, schedule. So, uh, and also, of course, they're uh, trying to raise funds for the upcoming season as well. They got the Ram cards. Just 20 bucks, uh, you can contact them on Facebook. Awesome value, great value there. And again, I could not fit the whole card on there. It's a long, like legal size uh, piece of paper and it's got all kinds of more sponsors than the ones you've seen there. Yeah. Um, don't forget, you can get your banners. Yeah, uh, they're accepting donations from nonprofit organizations for equipment, uniforms, or they are a nonprofit organization. Yeah. And all that, uh, those funds go to equipment, uniforms, trophies, and stuff like that. But you can also buy signs on their fence, and uh, banners are available. You can ride it off. Those are it's great a, prices. This is expense, yeah. Two for foot by bucks. three foot, yeah. Two foot. Now that's going to hang on the thing, but I bet you could get it to use anywhere else Absolutely. after season, probably. And uh, they would let you have it. But that's a good price on the banners, regardless. Yeah. And they got scoreboard ads. Six by six are still available at three hundred fifty bucks. Yeah. And the Chris box ads are available. So yeah. Well. So so even if you don't have a kid in one of these teams, support them. Here's the Rockwood eight and under baseball team. Uh, they went to. State and they were district champions uh, but of course here's their last year's sponsors but they're of course looking for this year's sponsors as well there's our district champion team right there and uh, if you were interested in helping out the eight and under baseball team you can contact Joe Daniels at the number on your screen there uh, but uh, yeah really awesome uh, just wanted to uh, you know we normally do our Monday episodes but we had so much information uh, and some stuff that came in late and didn't make the program. Uh, but, uh, but, but again, uh, and we'll, we'll try to do this more often. As more information comes, uh, we've only got a week till school starts. So if you guys send us more information, we'll be glad to get it God, out there. That's amazing. It's only a week till school. Yeah. I mean, we've started, I think, towards the end of It seems, August? yeah, it's so weird. And I know, uh, Oak, I should remember that gate cause I, I look so forward to it. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> But uh, Oak Ridge is already in school. I yeah. uh, saw that. Uh, there's some, I think Alcoa is starting like today or yesterday. Yeah. Uh, but some crazy stuff happened. Uh, hate to put this on the end of the school episode, but we, we try to get you the news as it happens. Uh, but uh, we've really branched out. Uh, and we're not just doing events and weather. Thank you to the uh, WVLT uh, team there, especially Heather Haley and the First Alert weather team. Uh, for providing weather during our Monday episodes. And I'll give you a little brief weather update before we, uh, we go. But something happened at Rockwood Walmart yesterday about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, you might have saw it on Facebook. There's been a lot of uh, information about it. but There's been a lot of bad information. Yeah, a lot of bad information. In the beginning stuff was very... First I heard there was a shooting. Yeah, I, it started out as possible shooting, bomb threat, all this stuff. But what happened was there was... Uh, and I've got some video here that I will uh, show you here. But this was uh, yesterday. This is a little after the actual arrest. Uh, this is at the Walmart in Rockwood. And what had happened was they had report of a stolen vehicle uh, that could be in this area. Well, one of the Rockwood Police Department officers saw that truck that you see up there on the tow truck. Uh, and it basically alerted the other officers to come. And why everybody was thinking it was something so crazy is because obviously Roan County, Rockwood, a lot of other agencies responded to help, uh, and this is why. And basically I'm reading this report right off the v WVLT uh, report because uh, they ended up sharing this information. And here's a video of the uh, tow truck. But uh, it says deputies with the Roan County Sheriff's Office and, and other officers with the Rockwood Police Department arrested a juvenile in connection with uh, two North Carolina truck and gun thefts. Uh, and this happened again yesterday about 8.30. Uh, 
they said that officials from the Stokes County Sheriff's Office in North Carolina uh, basically reported and here I'm going to show you some video while I'm telling the rest. This is courtesy of Kristen White, one of our newest viewers. She shared this with us. Um, but basically officials located the stolen truck at Rockwood Walmart and took the juvenile into custody. According to the release, no guns were found at the scene, uh, but they said the juvenile was turned over to Rodin County Juvenile uh, Department. But, uh, and thank you again to Kristen White uh, for sharing that video with us. And again, folks, uh, we're, we're really trying to branch out and cover anything that goes on here in our area. So if you see news happening uh, just like this, Hey, send us the video, um, and again, uh, this, if you'd like to see more information, go to WVLT's uh, website and or their Facebook page, and you can actually see this, and I shared their Facebook uh, post on our page, so you can see their, their post uh, on our page from yesterday. But, uh, but yeah, see, so if you see news happening in this area, hey, send us video. Uh, we're coming into the age of citizen reporters, and it's, yeah. a, it's a good thing because you get the, the news quicker. You see exactly what happened. And yeah, it's very wild. Um, you know, we're in that day and age where everybody's got a camera. Uh, so uh, it's not uncommon for people to see things. So if you do, uh, here coming up in just a minute, uh, I'll give you the contact information and how you can share that with us. Uh, we, again, appreciate WVLT Channel 8. I uh, wanted to go ahead and give you guys, since we're here, uh, I wanted to go ahead and share with you the, the WVLT Channel 8, especially the WVLT Channel 8. First alert weather. Uh, here is your eight day forecast. The good thing is today they kind of cleared the rain off. Uh, I actually went up on my roof. You know, I've got these hundred year old buildings yeah, yeah. Uh, and I had the, all that rain we had. And actually I saw on WVLT yesterday and I'm just letting you see that because they've changed it a little bit. Um, and it looks like there is a, a, a lightness at the end of the tunnel there. If you see on Tuesday, the rain finally starts to taper off. Uh, but I was, I was watching WVLT and they said in one day, that rainstorm we had, uh, I think it was a Monday night into Tuesday, that one day we got eight, over eight and a half inches of rain just here in Rockwood. Yeah, we were, I was looking at it, it seems like it pushed more to the, uh, Harriman side of Rockwood and Harriman got hammered a lot worse yeah, than we did. But. Yesterday's rain that we were supposed to get all pretty much stayed north of 40, yeah. which was great for me because uh, it allowed the roof to clear. Uh, but hey, once again, want to send a shout out to Heather Haley and all the crew out there at uh, WVLT. Download their apps. They've got a news app and a weather app. And the great thing is uh, the news app you can program to your area, especially now because school's starting, just like we were talking about. Uh, you can actually have it alert you to school either late starts, closings, uh, also traffic updates. It's really awesome. So uh, we appreciate WVLT uh, for being affiliated with us and uh, sharing their information with us. So uh, again, can't, can't thank Heather Haley and all the group there yeah, enough. Uh, if you, again, see news happening or you have an event, garage sale, yard sale, anything, uh, anything going on Birthdays, here. Birthdays, anniversaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a special birthday we'll share tomorrow. Uh, but uh, but John will tell you how you can get a hold of us. Yeah, you can email us directly at smalltownnetworklive at gmail.com. And I know when you're typing that, that looks weird because there's two ends together, but that's yeah. the truth. It's smalltownnetworklive at gmail.com. Or the easiest way is probably just to message us on Facebook from our Small Town Network page. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I try to make the one end bigger because it does get a little bit confusing yeah. there. But. Uh, but yeah, thank you everybody uh, for joining us for our special back to school edition. Just had so much information, wanted to get it out to you, uh, especially because it, it, we're right around the corner to uh, to starting that school season. Oh man, next week. Whew, unbelievable, but hey, check us out again. We'll have another episode Monday unless news happens here in the area. And then of course, we'll bring that to you. Uh, again, check out WVLT's website if you wanna check out more information about that Walmart arrest. Uh, but again, uh, thanks to all our sponsors. Thanks for everybody to for watching and uh, for everybody here at Small Town Network. I'm Scott Wilk. I'm John Evans. Yeah, and uh, we appreciate you watching. Like and share this with all your friends that go you go to school with because uh, it's important information. And if you're a school and you want to get information to us, 
Just oh, send it on. Please but, keep sharing the information with us so we can get it out. And it, uh, it helps us. It helps everybody. Yeah, and don't forget about the contest. Uh, go back and watch the last three weeks of Community News, and uh, it'll tell you how you can enter and win a $100 gift card. Absolutely. So, yeah, so everybody be safe out there. Uh, and have a great week, and uh, if nothing else crazy happens in town, we will see you on Monday. Monday. Yeah.